Hi, uh, my name is Henri Simonetti, spelled H-E-N-R-I. The last name is S-I-M-O-N-E-T-T-I. I'm very pleased to be able to be here tonight. I'm very happy to be a resident of the state of New Jersey and uh, very happy to live in the U.S. where there is separation of church and state. Um, I've been living in the Northeast since 1991. Uh, I lived in New York for a number of years and moved to New Jersey three years ago. My partner and I have been together for 15 years. Uh, I work for a large corporation, American Airlines. I'm a flight attendant, and I'm very fortunate to work for a company that has domestic partnership benefits. Uh, we have travel benefits, we have health insurance benefits, and my partner is able to take advantage of those. However, once again, we get back to the fact that this is the same, but it's not equal. My partner has travel benefits, but since I am giving a benefit to a non-family member, I have to pay additional income tax based on what the company determines is the value of that benefit. My partner has health insurance benefits, but again, because the company or I am giving that benefit to a non-family member, I pay additional taxes for his health insurance based on the value of that service. Uh, we had a crisis last year during the month of October when my partner was suddenly taken very sick uh, I was supposed to be on a trip, and I had to call him sick for the trip at the last minute. We do have family medical leave, so I went through the steps of calling him sick and applying for family medical leave for that absence. I submitted all the paperwork and medical documentation, and when the crisis had passed, I found out that American Airlines does not recognize family leave for domestic partnerships, only for spouses. And I spoke with someone in Human Resources today, and she verified that, yes, that is true. American Airlines does not recognize civil unions. They do not recognize domestic partnership benefits. They only recognize marriage. I'm a 45-year-old man, and it seems strange to me that at this point in my life, I have to come before officials and ask to have my civil rights. But that's what I'm doing. I'm asking the civil rights that I think I'm entitled to and my partner is entitled to. Uh, I am also very tired at this point in my life of having to listen to people wherever I am who believe that somehow my partner and I getting married is a threat to their marriage, to their family, to their values, to their belief system, to their way of life. Frankly, I don't care whether they're threatened or not. What I'm concerned about is my rights as a U.S. citizen and as a resident of the state of New Jersey. My mother is French-Canadian. She's been living here for many years. My partner and I have actually said at certain points in time, should we consider leaving the U.S. and moving to Canada, where at least we know we'll have some civil rights? It seems like an extraordinary thing to think about, and I wouldn't like to think that we'd actually have to do that. We would like to stay here. We'd like to stay in New Jersey, but it seems obvious that the civil union does not work, and I don't think it should take several more years before the legislature determines that it does not work and that we are indeed entitled to the same rights and benefits that everyone else has. I have a question for you. Yes. You mentioned that uh, family leave rights were not extended to you or your partner. That is correct. Are you in a New Jersey registered domestic partnership or in a New Jersey civil union? The domestic partnership. And this happened last October before well, the law changed. That is correct. The New Jersey Domestic Partnership Act does not extend New Jersey Family Leave Act benefits. However, the New Jersey Civil Union Act does extend New Jersey Family Leave Act benefits to the civil union partners. Thank you. Can I have that in writing so I can take it to somebody? Yeah. Uh, you, if you were sitting around and you talk to me afterwards, you speak to Agnes. Uh, there are two different Family Leave Acts. There's a federal FMLA and a state Family Leave and we can see if maybe there was some issue there that we could attend to. But you bring up, you know, get another conflict. Uh, so thank you for testifying. But you can speak to Agnes. She's right in the first row if you'd like to share that with us. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it.